A big part of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga is the extras. Most extras are unlocked in levels by doing a challenge to collect a red brick, which unlocks the extra. Some extras, such as invincibility, provide a strategic advantage in nearly every level, while other extras, such as stud multipliers or mini kit detectors, lose their efficiency when you max out on the materials necessary for these extras to function. But overall, most extras do have their uses. Today I will be talking about the useless extras of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Extras that provide little to no use in nearly any case. Some of these extras can be summarized in a sentence or two, while others can be a bit more complicated. There are six cosmetic extras in LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Fertilizer, Disguise, Daisy Chains, Chewbacca Carrying, C-3PO, Toe Death Star, and Silhouettes. Most of these simply change your character. For example, Disguise gives your characters a mustache, nose, and glasses. Silhouettes removes the textures of your chosen character. And Chewbacca carrying C-3PO displays Chewbacca carrying C-3PO, as he does in Return of the Jedi. A couple of cosmetic extras, namely Daisy Chains and Toe Death Star, don't actually change your character, but rather things your character can interact with. Daisy Chains, chains referring to the chains used to grapple, changes the shackles used to grapple into multiple bouquets of flowers. Toe Death Star, which is possibly the most useless extra in the game, yet still one of my favorites, changes the bombs picked up by Toe Cables into miniature versions of the Death Star. These extras don't really provide much, if any, help while beating levels, but they can be fun to play around with. The extra beep beep allows buildable LEGO cars to beep and honk when the interaction button is pressed. To my knowledge, this is the only extra that purely changes the audio of the game. These next two extras aren't totally useless. They both had very niche features, one of which I didn't even know how it worked until I did research for this video. Walkie Talkie Disable and Poo Money changed the game so subtly that it's likely you'd realize a cosmetic change like Toe Death Star, for example, before you notice the changes brought to the game by these two extras. Let's start off with Walkie Talkie Disable. This extra only works with two undesirable characters, the Imperial Spy and the Commander Battle Droid. By pressing the interaction button, these Roger, two Roger. characters will pull out a walkie-talkie and speak into it. Normally, this is purely cosmetic, an easter egg if you will. But with walkie-talkie disabled, doing the action of speaking into the walkie-talkie disables any and all droids around you. <sighs> this may just be the most useless extra that has a function in the entirety of every LEGO Star Wars game. Now on to Pooh Money. This extra allows you, when sitting on an animal, to press the interaction and force the animal to poop out a stud or two. If you feel like farming studs, this is not a very reliable strategy. There are much better ways to farm studs, even without collecting all the gold bricks. This next extra is unique in the fact that it adds 16 characters to the game, some of which are unique, while some are direct copies of other characters. The extra characters you get from Extra Toggle are level dependent meaning one level will have extra characters while another one might not be affected by extra toggle at all. Let's talk about the characters added by extra toggle. My least favorite character added by this extra is found exclusively in one of this game's worst levels, Rune of the Jedi. This character, the training remote, is sluggishly slow, has an annoying small hitbox, and worst of all, it can't jump, and without the extra exploding blaster bolts, it does absolutely no damage. The thing is overall helpless and useless and a waste of time. There are some cool characters this extra adds to the game though, like the Scout Trooper, which should really be a playable character by default. It's just a Stormtrooper clone, but what do you expect? I should mention that there are some extras in the game unlocked by default, meaning you don't have to collect a red lick to unlock them, namely Extra Toggle and Toe Death Star. Thanks for watching, see ya!